Sunday. I've had visitors this weekend. I had a friend's birthday last night. And it's time for a little Sunday reset vlog. Time with myself. I'm excited about it. We're getting the vibes going. I'm so excited. I have no plans today other than cleaning my apartment, doing laundry. I wanna go for a long walk or do a workout of some sort and just do things that feel good for me. Obviously, I also have to light this candle over here, a little New York City moment. Hallelujah, we have coffee. I've been obsessed with my Ember mug. It keeps every last drop hot, which I like because I hate like when I have half a cup of coffee left and it's not warm. Anyways, I, can, I know I've been talking about it a lot. I'm just very fascinated by the technology. Um, also, a moment for my, honestly, it's a beverage fridge at this point. <laughs> Oh, I have one thing left of eye patches in the fridge. I'll have to put more in the fridge. I keep lots of masks in the fridge and eye patches because it just feels so much better. And it's a Sunday reset vlog. We need these. All right, it's time for breakfast. And I realized I didn't put my eggs in these little things I have. It makes, it takes up less room in my refrigerator. My refrigerator actually like came with these. So I think I have to leave them when I move, sadly. Um, but I'm gonna keep two eggs because I'm going to just do two eggs scrambled this morning with an avocado. This one feels nice and good. Let's do it. All right, breakfast is done. It looks amazing. I'm watching Julia Hunter now, just rotating through my YouTube subscription box. I was about to take my supplements and then I realized this is empty. So, got my pill box. I got this on Nordstrom. I will link it down below. I love it. It's from the brand Port and Polish. So, you guys always ask me to go in depth about, you know, the supplements I take and I really don't feel comfortable, honestly. Like, I, I'll show you guys what I take and I'll tell you why I take them, but you need to talk to your doctor about this, obviously. Um, but I take ashwagandha, magnesium, and 5-HTP for stress relief, you know, helps just kind of calm me down. Nothing insane. These are all supplements, obviously. Um, but I've found that I really, really like taking these. Um, elderberry, I really haven't gotten sick in a very long time. So I feel like this has really helped me. It's just like an immune booster. Um, and then, I mean, I'm not saying this is the cure of all, but I think taking this every day has been really good for me. A women's multivitamin, vitamin D. Again, this is something you have to talk to your doctor about. Um, you would, you know, make sure that you are actually vitamin D deficient. So I take these every other day. And then my seed probiotic, of course. So that's what I take. If you guys are wondering, please don't come for me in the comments. Please, like, these are things that I've discussed with my doctor. They know that I take this. Um, so these are what work for me. Um, but yeah, everyone asked, so I thought I'd kind of get into it a little bit. These are all supplements. They're not, you know, dramatic or anything, but yeah. So I'm going to play my weekly game of Mancala and put all my pills in. <laughs> all right. I've done lots of chilling. It's now time to shower, even though I'm about to like just, you know, be doing stuff around the apartment. Shower is just, I used to always be a night shower, but I am such a morning shower girl these days. It just changes everything for me and it starts my day. I feel like that's just kind of a symbol of like, okay, the day has started. It wakes me up. It puts me in a good mood. So I'm going to roll with it. I'm going to take a shower. I'm not like washing my hair or anything. I'm just going to wash my face, do some body wash, all the things, put on a cute workout set. And we're going to, I keep saying, we're going to start the day. The day has started, Danielle. The day has started. Okay guys, so I showered. I This is actually my first time. I'm doing a little Olaplex bun while I'm using the Living Proof. They just came out with like their own like strength bonding, bonding thing. So I like put it in my hair, slicked it back. Don't need that to be in my way. I'm wearing this workout set from the brand Story with an eye. You guys already know how much I love Story. I love this top. Like, can we take a moment? Sorry, it's a little wet because I was... <laughs> No. Um, anyways, I'm like trying to think of the order of events. Oh, I made a list. Okay, today I want to change my sheets. Laundry. I, you guys saw in the beginning of this video, my laundry is literally piling over. Um, so we got to do darks and lights. I want to clean my counters. I have white counters, so they get dirty so easily, and you can see everything. I want to vacuum. And I also would like, if I get to it, to clean out my food cabinets. Because, you know, you, like, buy groceries, and then after a while they go bad, and you, like, forget. Like, the stuff, not in your fridge, but the stuff in my cabinets. Like, I think I have, like, 
tortillas that need to go, you know, stuff like that. Um, and just keep what I could actually use today, you know, in my cabinets because again, I am moving in a few weeks. So I want to have like a clean sweep, you know, just be able to like pack everything in and make it a really easy situation. So that's that. We're going to get started. I think I'm going to start with stripping my sheets, changing my sheets or no, I'll start with laundry. Cause that's just, we need to get that going. Um, uh, but yeah, let the cleaning montage begin. Ah, uh, my lovely laundry buffet. I love it so much. I'm gonna use my sport detergent on this one because I have a lot of active wear in there and this stuff, it's from The Laundress. It's literally good for active wear and swimwear. It just really like gets the scent. I think I'm gonna do a cold wash just because I'm nervous. Like some of the things are super colorful and I haven't washed them yet even though this is like my dark um, robe. Oops, that's a cute noise. Um, I just don't want things, you know, getting dirty. So we're gonna do normal but a cold temp just to, you know, make sure. There we go. All right, the first load begins. <laughs> Right, guys I have let this corner build up for a couple weeks now and it, it's just time that we take it down so I need to go through everything it's like my bathing suits on the bottom and then just like a pile of clothes I have things hanging up like we just need to get down to it did it. It shuts the corners clean. I'm standing in the corner. I also was like, this just can't even become a thing because my next apartment, the bedroom is like, it like basically goes, it's like stops here. Like there's going to be no corner in my next bedroom like this. So we can't even be, you know, starting bad habits. But like I was saying in my last vlog, I'm getting a different bed. I'm selling this. Um, and I, it's gonna be a little bit more raised so I can do have storage underneath, which is gonna be huge for the program. Woo, that feels so good. Alrighty, well, let me move this a little bit. I constantly have two beverages at all times. I'm snacking on blueberries, making lots of lists. Um, we're gonna plan out what else I want to do today because most of the cleaning is done. Laundry, I just switched a load. Need to take some trash out. Um, I haven't cleaned out my pantry yet. I don't know, for some reason I wanna do that tonight. I think, I don't really know. Anyways, gonna go through, take things from my to-do list from the other day and bring it back over. There's some certain things I need to do tonight. There's some flowers I wanna send to somebody. I need to get a gift bag for a gift. Um, I want to like respond to all my emails that I got like Friday evening tonight so that when people open their inboxes in the morning they'll see it. Um, I have some friends coming up to visit me now for my birthday which I'm really excited about so I want to get some like reservations in. 
Um, and <laughs> I know I was talking about like having visitors in my last vlog and like how it stresses me out, but I fully like asked my friends from college. I was like, please come up like anyone that wants to like comes well get you know stay with me or then end up being a lot of people so they're getting a hotel which honestly is less pressure on me i just want like all my favorite people with me on my birthday weekend so they a few of them reached out to me and was like i want to come what do we have to do so i'm excited because it's so fun having like my like home friends meet my college friends meet my new york friends meet my influencer friends like there's just so much going on um so i want to do like a little girls dinner and then i'm having like a birthday party the next night I need to record an ad for the podcast. I should be like writing this down as I'm talking to you guys. Um, oh, I also would like to get groceries because I've talked about this in a few vlogs, but I really want to get to a point where it's like I go to the grocery store and I just get a couple things. Like I don't need to do these big stock ups all the time. Um, so yeah, I'd like to get some apples. I want to get more turkey, just some other like little lunchy mealy things. Mealy, that's a word. I just like had this realization and I was starting to like spiral honestly this morning while we're on this topic. I just feel like living in New York City, there's always something to do. A big social thing here is eating out and I'm not gonna stop eating out by any means, but I feel like I pretend that I'm on vacation a lot. Like I like still feel like I don't actually live in New York. I'm like, oh, I'm just visiting. So like, yeah, I'll get this, yeah, I'll get that. Like, I'll order this, I'll order that, and I'll go out to eat every night of the week. And I need to like start saying no and have more discipline and being like, hey, like I have eaten out so much, I'll cook us dinner at home. Like that's what my friend did the other night. She was like, I have the salmon that I need to cook. Like, do you wanna come? I'll like make us salmon and chicken, whatever. And I just like need to be better about that because not that eating out is like this terrible thing, I love it, but like obviously they're using more salts and like different things when you go out to eat and like I, I just like feel the difference in my body. You guys know very well that I'm very, I feel like I eat a very balanced, I live a very balanced life. Like I'm, I'm not like into diet culture at all, but I'm just like starting to realize like I do need to pay attention to what I'm putting into my body and just like, you know, have my limits, I guess. So I've just like been having all these realizations and like I wanna like work out more, like I do the training three times a week, but like I feel like my arms are getting super muscular and I'll like look at photos and this is all just like internal stuff that I've been dealing with and I'm like, oh my arms used to look different. I don't know, I'm just like maybe I should try Pilates or like I wanna start doing 12 through 30 more, like just things that make me feel good. Like, yeah, okay, sure, I, like, look different when I work out more, whatever, but for me, it's, like, how I feel, and recently, like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but, like, on Instagram, like, I post on my stories all the time, but, like, in feed, I haven't really been posting, I've been posting more, like, okay, maybe, like, some photo dumps, or, like, from vacation, like, all my last photos are from, like, Nantucket, or Montauk, um, or, like, stuff like that, and I'm not, I haven't been posting as much, like, everyday New York City outfits because I like haven't been feeling good in my body and that is like I don't like feeling that way because normally I feel very confident I'm so excited to take a photo of my outfit whatever it may be and I'm just I was just spiraling this morning sitting and I was like no I'm having a Sunday reset we're gonna get our life together I literally did like a whole notes thing called happy and healthy Danny of like different workouts I want to try you know different meals I want to try and make even like just like when I go to a restaurant like just looking at the whole menu and saying like, I, I love pasta. Like I immediately am just like, oh, pasta. But like maybe look like, oh, I'll do like a protein and a veggie. Like that is something that is so like nutritious and good. I don't know. I am no doctor. As I've said earlier in this episode, episode, oh my God, this is not a podcast, but I'm just like, okay, I'm 23. Like I do need to like stop pretending like I'm in college and I can just like eat and do whatever I want. Um, so it's like a hard thing to like think about and this isn't me telling you guys to do anything differently I feel like everyone has waves and cycles of their life um and I think I'm just like finally having that realization like okay it's been a great first year in New York but now like we need to get into a routine we need to, you know and I can say this and then it'll just fall off tomorrow but I'm really just trying to like do what feels best for my body and right now like I don't feel good in outfits I don't feel I just don't feel good so and I want to feel good my next apartment is going to be near the West Side Highway, so I'm excited. Like, I really hope that motivates me more to walk, you know. But I'm trying to not be like, oh, in the future, like, what can I do now? Like, today we're going for a walk. We're going to do 12 through, 
I'm either gonna do 12 through 30 or go for a walk. I haven't decided which one yet. And by a walk, I mean like a long walk, like where I'm sweating and feeling good. Anyway, sorry. Thank you guys for listening to this. I just had to share. So I'm like writing down things, doing what feels best, going for grocery runs, not going for real runs. I hate running. You will not see me running ever. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. It's time for some breakfast. I'm gonna try out some of this Trader Joe's beef and broccoli um, for lunch. Let's give it a go. We, I love this. It comes all separately, which is not usual. These are the other Trader Joe's meals I've gotten. It's not like this, so I'm excited because you can control like how much sauce, because it said it's sweet and spicy sauce, and I don't always love that, so I might just add my own soy sauce instead, actually. Huge for the program. <laughs> I know I keep saying that. I'm doing that on purpose, okay? Ta-da! It is steaming hot. I ended up doing the my own soy sauce instead because I tasted the sauce and it was really spicy and I'm not really good at spicy things. So, I'm watching last week's episode of The Bachelorette, just mindless television, and eating. I'm about to dive in. All right, the moment we've been all waiting for. No, not actually. It's hot girl walk time. I'm so excited. Got the set on. I'm wearing my Nike Super Reps. I haven't worn them in a while. It's the uniform, slick back, the Lululemon bag. Oh my god, when you're walking on West Side Highway, I think literally every girl has one of these. It's just so convenient and like compact. I've always used them, but I've never had the Lululemon one. It is nice and compact. So the plan is I'm going to bike to Press Juicery. Get myself a reward, which is the banana, chocolate banana protein shake. I'm obsessed with it. And then walk from there to West Side Highway, down West Side Highway until I'm tired, and then bike back. So a lot of activity. I'm excited. Let's go. It's perfect timing too. The sun is doing its thing. It's becoming golden hour. I want to be back by 8 o'clock because the VMAs are on tonight. And I just like love some live television when I have the chance. Um, so it just feels like you're a part of something. Same with like sports. So I want to watch the VMAs and see what it's all about. And it's in New York and some of my friends are doing makeup for people at the VMAs. So I think that's awesome. see how far I can get to my apartment from here but it's so nice I've walked almost three miles now oh my gosh guys I feel so good I just did so much I went all the way to the west side I'm like all the way on the east side by the East River went all the way to the Hudson River um, walked all the way down so I started at like Christopher Street in West Village like that entrance to West Side Highway Walked all the way down through Battery Park. No, 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 not to Battery Park. To Brookfield Place. So basically, I'm in Fidei at this point. Then from Brookfield Place, I went like across the island to Seaport. I mean, not very far, but <clears throat> like across to the East River where the Seaport, Fulton Seaport is, which is also in Fidei, but <clears throat> they're on either sides of like this little peninsula, I think. I think. 
and I like walked along the East River, which I've actually, I've done a couple times with Jazz, but I've never done it like on the more Southern point, like by Fat Eye. So beautiful, it was so gorgeous. Walked as much as I could until it's like blocked off. So then I got on a bike and I biked all the way back. And I, today's one of those days, I don't really wear like a watch that tracks anything, but today's one of those days like I kind of wish I was wearing a watch that would like track my miles and stuff. I would say I definitely walked at least three miles and I know I biked about two miles. So it felt really, really good. I like, my heart was racing and I got, not racing, but you know, my heart was going in a good way. And I was just like, Danielle, you're crushing it. Like this feels so good. I've eaten so good today. I just feel, I feel good. Um, now I'm hungry for dinner. So we're gonna make some dinner and I smell really bad. So I'm gonna shower. Yeah, I'm really happy. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, let's make dinner. I'm so hungry. Mm. Oh my gosh. Jack Harlow just brought on Fergie for Glamorous slash First Class. I love to see this. All right, guys, that is a wrap for this Sunday reset vlog. I just blow dried my hair so I wasn't going to bed with wet hair. I'm finishing up watching the VMAs and I folded all my laundry. Everything just feels right and I feel very prepared for the week ahead. And I'm just so happy about, I just really liked today. It was some good me time and um, I don't know had a lot of self-realization. So I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for constantly supporting. Subscribe down below. It means a lot to me and it helps me out a lot. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys soon for our next video. Bye.